Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see how to troubleshoot this error. Spring security HTTP status occurred when I tried to configure a basic authentication for REST API in a Spring Boot application. First, let's reproduce the issue. I created this Spring Boot application and this is my controller. I defined an endpoint for the post mapping and this is the URL for the post method API users. So it just accepts a user entity, this one, consists of name and email. I added some security to my application in the POM file. So I'm still using the 275 version. I just added the dependency to the security starter and I defined some configuration here. Configuration, enable web security, extending, implementing this class. And this is first I define it in memory users demo having this role admin and this is the authorization so everything that go through this url should have admin role and now and as you see here i am using a basic authentication so the application is up and running now let use say url to post this json format and i'm using hyphen u demo this is the user and this is the password and let's see what happens so i'm defining this is the url and normally it should add this user to the database let's check and as you see i get this error 403 but i don't have further information so if i check here in my server so I don't have any logs. So how to deal with this problem? First, we need to enable logs to have more information about what is happening. So using this parameter in our application properties, we set it to debug. So, and let's see what happened. We need to restart our server. Let's see what happens. We run again the same command. We get the same error. Hopefully we have more information indeed. So now we have more information in the log and as you see, and this is the issue. So invalid CSRF. So we have a problem with CRS. So we haven't enabled anything here in our controller. So the solution for this problem, either you configure here the cross-site request or you can disable it. So as this is a dev environment, so what, what you can do is disable so we can do that as follow and CRF, CSRF, and we can say disable. Now let's rerun the server and we try the command again. And as you see, the entity has been added. So the error disappeared. We can check that in the database as well. Select from user and we have an entry added to the database. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and bye.